on behalf of the Atlanta City Chamber of Commerce and Governor of Atlanta Sturgis Fillmore VII, we invite you to join us on an exciting video tour of Atlanta, yesterday's city of today, because tomorrow is soon. Here you will see commerce, culture, fine cuisine, infrastructure, education, our children are going places. That's right, Atlanta, city of palindromes, for Atlanta is spelled exactly the same forwards and backwards. So join us as we explore at Nalta. Let us welcome the hosts of our video tour, Dick and Jane, who have come to our bustling metropolis in an attempt to save their failing marriage. Here we see Dick and Jane arriving at Atlanta's own Hartsfield Jackson Sturgis Fillmore Memorial Airport, named for Atlanta's founder and favorite son, Sturgis Fillmore. And to other guys. Now that our hosts have arrived, how are they going to get around? Marta! Atlanta's rapid transit system, offering expedient delivery to locations both north and south. Let us away! Once in the heart of our vibrant cityscape, make sure to take in the sights. What sights, you ask foolishly? Why, the Cory Stack, for starters, erected in loving memory to both Corys, Feldman and Haim. Centennial Park, built in 1799 in honor of Atlanta's Winter Olympic Games. Here we see the honorarium of the brave men and women who perished in its construction. Their blood is the mortar that holds this city strong. Graceland! Atlanta's Oakland Cemetery, America's only rock star only cemetery, where you can see such famous faces as... Prince! Jimi Hendrix! Billy Joel! Andre Benjamin, better known as Andre II of the Outcasts. And lest we forget, 1970s psychedelic punk rocker, Father Mother of Father Mother's Electric Sunshine Experience. Now we're off to the Margaret Mitchell House, birthplace of famed Atlanta screenwriter Margaret Mitchell, who wrote Herbie, Fully Loaded, and TV's Jag. Stone Mountain, erected in honor of Atlanta's great civil rights leaders. The Atlanta Zoo, home of Willie B, who was tragically killed in a drunken bar fight with none other than Sturgis Fillmore. Here we see the final resting place of Atlanta's oldest resident, Hank Aaron, who died at the valiant age of 715. Welcome to Atlanta's own Midtown, where the very laws of physics break down. Having trouble finding your way around? Not a problem. For your convenience, all roads here are named Peachtree. But it looks as though our Dick and Jane have found their way to Piedmont Park, home of the famous Washington Monument, a phallic beacon shining out to all of Atlanta's local gay community. We accept you. Here, Dick and Jane have joined with a number of the local gay athletes in a rousing game of football. Go long, Dick. Now that we've had a chance to stretch our legs and work up a hearty appetite, let's take in some fine dining, Atlanta style. Here we see the Cyclorama, North America's only revolving restaurant. For our road-weary travelers, nothing but the finest will do. That's why they're going to eat at the Varsity. That's right, Dick. Take it all. After your exquisite dining experience, why not take in a game? A game of sports. The Atlanta Dome, home to 10-time Galactic Super Bowl champions, the Atlanta Falcons. Go get a mic, Vic. This pit bull is going to die. The sweethearts of the NHL, the Atlanta Thrashers, have stood the test of time as the oldest sporting franchise in the great city of Atlanta. Rollerblading has never been sweeter. Hey look, it's Turner Field, home of the Seattle Mariners. And apparently the Montreal Expos. This old man's going to die. He would surely perish if not for the state-of-the-art, world-famous facilities of... Grady Memorial Hospital. Take care, old-timer, and stave off death for another day. Here we see the state capitol, where local legislators are serving up filibusters, scattered, smothered, and covered. But you can't smoke there anymore, and that's bullshit. Moving along, we come to the Big Chicken Memorial, built in dedication to Atlanta's most popular mayor, the Big Chicken, whose Reformation Party rebuilt the city after the Great War of 1906. The Georgia World Congress Center, ironically named, as it is neither worldly nor congressional, nor even a center. This photo was taken in Detroit. 
the King and Queen Buildings, dedicated to King Sturgis the Ninth and his wife, Queen Latifa. Yes, the coastal city of Atlanta. But don't take our word for it. The Atlanta Journal-Constitution is a bastion of journalism and has won the Pulitzer Prize for most typos per capita five years running. But if you're looking for a multinational media conglomerate, look no further than CNN. The Clairvoyant Ninja Network. Better watch out, Dick and Jane. He'll steal your pin numbers. Did someone say celebrities? We've got them. It's professional crossdresser Tyler Perry. But for entertainment of an adult nature, try the Claremont Lounge, where you can get free duct tape. Here we see a Civil War cannon. No, wait. That's the Majestic Western Hotel, the only hotel in the great city of Atlanta. I've had sweet relations there. And there. Also there. And there. Well, Dick and Jane, and there. Well, Dick and Jane, that brings us to the end of our tour of the teeming municipality of Atlanta. What do you think? What if I were to throw in a free puppy? That's what I thought. To Dick, to Jane, and to all of you out there, Sturgis Fillmore and the Atlanta City Chamber of Commerce wants to extend our most steadfast appreciation to you for joining us in Atlanta, yesterday's city of today, because tomorrow is soon.